you'll be pained by how you live, why you live, and in the manner in which you live. Hi, I'm Collis and I'm 17 this year, currently studying in SMK Labuan, and I will be sitting my SPM next year. I'm fine, of course, thank you. Hmm, I do actually miss life before COVID, but I guess if I tell you that I still enjoy and love what I do right now and my life right now, perhaps you may have doubts on it because everyone says that pandemic, this lockdown is really, really boring. Um, yes. Let me tell you a story. I was actually a COVID patient. It was on September 9, a day which I will never forget. I still vividly remember the call I received from KKM. Hello, Colonel Slim. I'm Haikal from KKM Lab 1. We are sorry to inform you that your second swab test was tested positive. Our ambulance will take you in an hour. Please be ready. And of course, I couldn't accept the fact that I had caught the virus. At that moment, there was only a word to describe how I felt. Terrified. So he is our frontliner and thank you so much for everything. Okay. Okay. Okay, I really thought that moment was the worst of my life. But upon reflecting it for a while, I think that those strings of events was a lesson for me to learn and a lesson which then I come to appreciate. Well, just to be honest, it wasn't as smooth as what I thought. I was actually quite lost because it's like starting over a new life. And I was afraid and worried about the social judgment and social criticism. And I was really, really having a mental breakdown at that moment. How did I overcome? Well, I actually went to see my school counsellor and told her how I felt. And over time, I also host some Google Meet sessions with my families and friends. And for me, sharing cares and spreading love to one and another really, really matters the most. New hobby. Ah. I guess I'm not the only one. And the answer is definitely a yes. I have finally found my hidden talent in which I can cook and bake so well. This is our favorite one ton. The filling is wrapped in a thin yellow square wrapper, then boil it until it's cooked. It's actually a Chinese cuisine which is known as Chinese dumpling. But before serving it, I'll usually top it with some chopped onions. Something awesome is that I actually started e-commerce last year in which I sell cakes. And I started by promoting my cakes on Facebook then open a page to accept orders. And overall, it was a really 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 great experience and I'm honored and I feel really really privileged that all of my customers gave me a thumbs up for the cake that they bought. Well, I don't really have a very big achievement in my life but I still feel very proud of myself because I spent all my time wisely during this pandemic even I just stay at home and I participated in so many competitions it's whether state competition or even national competition and fortunately won some of them 
My biggest achievement in national level was getting a champion in the backstage spotlight with Omid and second runner up in the science DIY competition. Besides, I also got first runner up in both Tokoh Nilam and Book Recension competition, second runner up in Malay public speaking competition, and many, many more. Even it is not a very high achievement for me, but I'm still really proud of myself because. I did not waste my time playing phone all days, but also I tried to find things to improve myself during this pandemic. Dear friends, I know that this lockdown really demotivates us. We often feel that life is so boring and so hopeless, and we miss those good old days. But Bear in mind, we have to work as a unity to break the chain. Because you know, we can change ourselves to change the world. But the world will never change because of us. Therefore, live your life full. Do the things that you love. Take this chance to cherish your moments of special events with your loved one. Enjoy every single day of life and don't take this as a reason to stop yourself from exploring the beauty of culture and to stop learning new things. Because everyone has a tiny spark in you, but you are the one who needs to light up yourself.